Well, hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your reading for March 2021. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading and not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, I'm doing things a little bit differently as I've been enjoying the uh, Celtic cross there. Uh, so I will get back to my usual way of working. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to use that Celtic cross to shake up the energy. Um, I'm getting the overall energy for your month of March. Um, thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. The cards feel very sort of out of line today. Um, when I'm addressing this energy for you. Um, but also, as I was doing the meditating, um, I got a song, The Final Countdown. Okay, just kept playing, The Final Countdown. But it feels like it's a countdown to something really big, like you're ready to do something, but The Final Countdown, maybe you're giving some sort of ultimatum or something, but um, please take it as it resonates. I mean, it may be a song that you were listening to recently, and I mean like in the last day or so, I don't mean... Like, oh yeah, about three months ago I heard that song. It's not like that. It's something that is really relevant to now, okay? It's going to affect your March, final countdown. Now we have um, the death card there. So this is the protagonist energy. This is shaking up the system. This is doing something new to get a different result, leaving old habits behind. And sort of anything that's hindering you or uh, you feel like you're attached to that is negative, that is holding you back, um, I feel like you're letting it go. You're making those changes to gain something greater. Um, there's definitely a new beginning happening here. And as we, as you can see, it's like the cock, the cock roll there is like um, calling time on something. You know, the cock grows to sort of signal something and it's got a scythe there. So it's the end of something. So either you're closing down a cycle in order to get something more healthy, more in line with your happiness, something that is fulfilling. Um, as you can see, something blossoming there. Um, it's almost like tendering to the garden, weeding things that no longer need you so that the, the good stuff, the, 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 you know, the healthy stuff can flourish. Um, anything that's negative gets taken out. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels. But actually, right now, just show me a frying pan. <laughs> uh, it's just a frying pan on its own. So there's nothing in it. Um, so either you're currently about to, you just picked up a flying, flying pan. Well, that did go flying across out of the deck there, but either you're picking up a, a frying pan right now as you listen to this reading about to cook and um, I'm calling it, or you just washed it and you're putting it away, uh, then there's something in this message for you. If that's not you, doesn't mean it's not your reading. Um, it just means that that person it's for needs to pay close attention to the reading. But also there's an energy of your know, frying pan is like something's cooking here. Something's cooking up. You're preparing for something big. It could get quite hot in this area. So let's see what's going on there. We will clarify that energy. How would you like to receive? Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune here. It's in the antagonist position, which indicates you may have felt a little bit stuck um, and felt like you were, um, you know, things were out of your control to move forward. Uh, you may have felt like um, things, everything that you turned to um, in the last couple of months has not been going exactly the way that you wanted it to. I mean, one or two things may have gone well for you, but there's the majority of things that you've been trying to get off the ground may have been um, sort of stagnant. There's definitely change here for the better. Uh, so there's a, a wonderful turning points happening in your March. I feel like there was a lucky break here, but I feel like you saw it coming, Pisces. I feel like you just know it's coming. Either you can see with your third eye or your intuition, you just saw it was coming, okay? Um, and it was necessary to propel you forward. So a wonderful successful opportunity or some, something that, you know, you have to rise to the occasion and almost take a leap of faith or a gamble here. I feel like um, whatever it is, is going to pay off for you in a very... Um, not unexpected because I feel like this is something that you deserve, but I feel like it's an opportunity. They give me the word opportunist. So maybe it's something that comes and you grab the opportunity. It's been something that you're manifesting, but it hasn't come for a while. And then you just grab that opportunity when it arises. The Wheel of Fortune is about abundance coming your way. You know, in life, we all have a, a cycle of both good and bad. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're bad. And I feel like um, March is shifting for the better for you. And there's new options coming on in here um, with regards to your situation. Um, 
there's good karma here as well. This is destined, okay? This is the hand of fate stepping in uh, where it's almost like where something has died or where there's decay here or, you know, where something has been stagnant. Maybe you've been resisting change or maybe you just found it hard to change. There's a lack of anything happening. All of a sudden, there's a swift change here. Uh, so it may come out of nowhere, but even though I feel like it's something that you're prepared for. That's what I'm getting. Now, the unified position is beautiful. We got the magician card. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, it will, um, you're going to turn that reality into, uh, you know, into, well, you're going to turn your vision into reality using inspired action, okay? This is confidence. This is skill. So this, this is action concentrating in order to get accomplishment. Your focus is like laser focus in March. So for example, if you're trying to manifest a new job opportunity, I feel like it will come your way. Um, you know, you may have been looking for an, a job opportunity, but there's something that is more exciting and more, um, how can I put that, is bigger leads to more success than you imagined it would, okay? So it's almost like whatever you're hoping for, there's better, even more coming towards you, okay? The magician is an energy of you already. You've got everything you need, the creativity, the skill, uh, the desire and the focus to get whatever is in your mind into your um, sort of physical plane there. It's um, prosperity in its purest form going to be showing up in your world and you're calling it. So whatever you're wishing for, be careful what you wish for because you're manifesting it. There's also going to be like a little lucky break or a hand of the universe moment, but it's definitely endings bringing new beginnings. That's the energy that I'm picking up here. Now, let me just um, clarify this energy of, of what I got coming in. They're giving me that song again, the final countdown. Um, so maybe it's a project that you've been trying to action for a while and you're just on the last leg of it and you're calling it in. It's going to be very successful. Or it could be a relationship. You're calling time on that Maybe you're giving them an ultimatum because, you know, it needs to change, ship, shape up or ship out, that sort of energy. Uh, but let's clarify this energy and see what's going on there. But Because there's a wonderful turn of events and I feel like you're in control of it. I feel like you're not procrast you're not procrastinating. Sorry, that's a big word they're giving me. I just stumbled over that. I feel like um, there's no, you're not powerless in this situation. I feel like you're very much in charge of this situation. We have justice. So yeah, good karma, okay, Pisces? This is what you truly deserve, good karma. Uh, there's an element here of you seeing the truth of a situation, but also getting the truth of a situation, and you know when things need to change. Um, the justice card indicates a leveling, you know, a balancing out of things, and I feel like there'll be a win-win situation for you here, but there is a cause and effect. Whatever you shed from your life, it will have repercussions for the future. Whatever you bring in new into your life, it will have that reper uh, you know, repercussion for the future also. But I feel like you're leading with fairness, equality. You're after something that is, you know, um, for your highest good. So you could be dealing with um, having to make a decision that is based on two people even, and you're, you're, you're deciding what is right for both parties, because I feel like you are being fair in this, Pisces. But also you could be dealing with contracts. So if you're looking for a new job opportunity, for example, you'll be signing um, something new. Justice indicates you no know, legalities, um, judging a situation, what is the best outcome for you, and maybe signing something. It could have come after a period of dishonesty or unfairness. I feel like uh, you know anybody who's been unkind to you, you're shutting it down. You're just shutting them out. Pisces, because you don't need that. You don't need someone sort of messing with your uh, equilibrium, that, that balance and that emotion that you've got there. Also, they're really highlight, highlighting number 11 for me. So um, there's an indication here that, uh, because they're showing me 11 here and they're showing me 10 and one here. They're like 11, 11. So 11, 11 is a soul path number. So this is very important. This is also, it's almost like it's faded energy. It's meant to be, okay? Just to let you know some of the energy that we got on the board. We got Aries, Scorpio. We got Libra energy there. Um, we got King of Fire, beautiful, more Aries energy. There's definitely, um, it's almost like, for example, if you're looking for a new job, Pisces, I feel like you're stepping up into a new position that gives you more responsibility, that it makes you more of an influencer within your um, your your setting. I feel like you're leading with your heart. People look towards you for guidance um, in this position. I feel like you're, you're moving up to the next stage, okay? Um, if, for example, um, you're wanting, you know, you're leaving a workspace to be your own boss. This is also an energy of entrepreneurialship, okay? Uh, this is a powerful position, uh, bold, courage, 
uh, as you move forward to be a leader um, in whatever way that means for you. I feel like you're leading with your heart and there's a lucky there's a lucky break here. It may feel, as I said, it may feel like a gamble, but if you're getting your own business off the ground um, and letting go of some other form of revenue, um, I feel like it's gonna be very, very successful what you're doing because you're leading with purity and with your heart. And also, most importantly, you know, King of Fire is wands. So that is passion and drive, okay? Um, now, in terms of relationship, I mean, I feel like uh, if it's because I'm getting strong sort of soul path energy from your reading rather than either a relationship or a business. But I'm feeling like a strong desire to be um, take charge of a situation and manifest a new beginning. Um, so the two of Earth. OK, uh, they're indicating it's almost like if you've been working super hard, Pisces, and you've left no time to find love then that will be showing up in your vicinity as well. You know, uh, possible, there's a possible um, sort of surprise meeting with an Aries uh, energy or someone with an Aries placement who will sweep you off your feet. So if you're, you know, calling time on something or even a way of thinking and you're, you're sort of manifesting something new in terms of a person rather than a job, I feel like, you know, uh, there is uh, the potential here to meet someone exciting, someone who, uh, you know, you'll not, You'll be in no doubt how this person feels about you because this person puts their heart on their sleeve. There's a lot of passion here. And I feel like there's a lot of excitement with this person. Also a lot of sexual chemistry. That's the energy that I'm getting. I will clarify this energy for you um, a little bit further, but they're indicating it because they're saying you've been working really hard, Pisces. Whatever it is that you've been doing, you've been balancing a lot of plates. You know, you've got a couple of choices to make though. You've been weighing up many options. It's almost like in order to lead a balanced life here of work, you also need to inject play and fun, okay? So if you have been working really hard and not, you know, have no love coming on in and you haven't left a space for love, they're indicating that good karma is coming your way in order to balance the situation. And you could be sort of lightening your workload. That's the thing that you're letting go of, you know, um, that it's, it's the end of sleepless nights, just working, working, working in order to uh, embrace a new beginning and inject more play or more passion into your life. The Two of Pentacles also indicates, you know, um, your efforts bringing joy, you know, work and play. They're not separate. So there's an energy here of, you know, if you're not happy where you are in your workspace, uh, whatever it is you do for a career, you may be ending that and actually manifesting a new position here that allows you to have a fair balance between work and play uh, that allows you to enjoy making your money. And also, if, you know, when you find something that you love doing and you make money out of it, it's like you never work because, you know, it's finding that peace and joy within that. It feels like it's something that is second nature to you. It's not, it doesn't feel like a chore that you have to go and do it. So for example, if you're setting up your own business, you love it. You're loving that sort of intricacy, being um, in control, but at the same time, injecting your own personality and passion into something. There's a, a lucky turn of events here that help you rise through the ranks quite quickly. There's also two opportunities here to really rise. They're showing me three, they're showing me three, but one is kind of like in the future, okay? One is way in the future. I would say that they're giving me May. There's, a, there's an opportunity um, in May that you will be thinking about, but in March, there's two opportunities. One is bigger than the other, and obviously it's a no-brainer. You're gonna pick the one that's bigger than the other, but they're indicating two opportunities here. They did ask me to go again, so I will. Um, we got a six of fire, we got an eight of earth. So the eight of earth indicates possibly learning, um, you know, some sort of apprenticeship, gaining knowledge about what it is you do to acquire extra skill sets, um, you know, mastering a craft. You know, when you get an eight of pentacles, it means you are at the top of your game. You're, you've mastered your craft to a certain degree, but you may be f looking at things like, you know what, you want to inject like a little bit of extra passion into things for yourself. Okay, you know when you've got a way of doing things, you get into a pattern of doing it, it's second nature. And whilst it's wonderful, sometimes it's nice to shake up the energy. For example, I love reading cards. I feel like that is, you know, I've been doing it since I was small. And, you know, it's something that is an extension of me. But sometimes when you do the same thing all over, you know, you want to do a different uh, spread. Or, you know, you're doing the same thing, but you just want to do it differently, so you get a different um, energy from it. 
shall we say. But the Eight of Earth indicates you're going to be raised up in some sort of way for what you do, something that you're passionate about. I feel like there's a wonderful opportunity that's coming along that you, you, you're going to embrace with both arms, okay? It gives a greater understanding about uh, earning money and doing what you love. Because I feel like there's peace of mind here as well, okay? The Ten of uh, Water indicates uh, good fortune, well-being, serenity, but a lot of abundance that's coming towards you. And actually effortlessly when you do what you love, okay? It's almost like as long as you follow your heart, Pisces, um, the, the finances will flow from there. It is a gamble. I mean, we're all taking risks left, right, and center with things that we love doing, or we can take a safer route and, you know, take the nine to five job that pays the bills. Some of us actually have both, you know, we try and um, pay the bills with that sort of day-to-day -day job that we do. And on the side, we get off, you know, um, preparing for a business of our own or being the boss of something that we want to really do uh, on the side there. And it's going to raise up here and be very, very successful. I say that because we've got a six of wands there. This is ultimate success. This is victory. This is recognition for what you do. There's wonderful news coming on in in March for you. It's going to turn everything around. Whatever it is you're manifesting, um, it looks like you're on your way, okay? And I feel like you're ahead of the game as well. You're, it's almost like you're ahead of all the uh, competition there, um, but your ships are coming towards... It's almost like you're coming home, okay? There's, but there's this energy of, you know, the final countdown. Maybe you're on the final leg of it or you're... Um, it just feels like there's something bigger coming here, okay? Which I really, really uh, find quite exciting. Uh, I'm just going to pull a quick card on this energy. One moment, please. I want to pull a card on the two of, wa uh, two of Pentacles, please. Oh my gosh, two of wands. Okay, so it's waiting for results, perhaps. Waiting for the opportunity to arise or manifest before you can grab it with both arms. Um, you may be waiting for some sort of bursary, award, or, you know, if you've been doing some learning there, learning new skills, you may be just waiting for your certificate to come in or your results to come on in before you can move forward and expand. But the two of wands is a beautiful energy. I know it means, you know, that you're in that suspended energy, but it feels like anything is possible. You know, the world is in your hands. Whichever choice you make in this moment has the uh, ability to, you know, manifest something huge, something big here uh, that will put you at the top of your game. Also, there's an energy of peace with this card, okay? Okay. It's almost like you're surveying what you've got so far, Pisces, and building upon it. Okay, You may be waiting to uh, inject some sort of travel plans as well. Perhaps you have to travel for this. Um, or, you know, it feels very much like, again, they're saying, they're saying to me, look at the sticks, but they're wands, obviously. But they're saying, look at the sticks, look at the sticks. As you can see, one is shorter than the other. So there's, there is definitely two big opportunities coming your way in March. One is bigger than the other, okay? Um, It's interesting. They're saying, they're giving me this is something which is like the one that is shorter. It's almost like part of it needs fixing. I don't understand what that is. So what they're giving me is like there's two opportunities in March. One needs fixing. One is smaller and needs fixing. So maybe there's something here. It's not all. Maybe you use your intuition and realize that this smaller opportunity, um, there's too much work to be done with it. Or that it's not worth it because something about it is broken. I'm not sure what that is. They're saying part of it needs fixing. I mean, maybe it's a smaller opportunity that a friend is bringing on in for you that needs fixing. As in, you know, they just need to put you forward for it or something. I'm not sure what that means. So I can only give you what they're giving me. But I feel like you're taking the other opportunity that wants more fully formed and is bigger. It leads to more success for you. Okay. Um, so that is the energy that I'm getting. Let's go to the Celtic cross for you. Um, I feel like it's really, I feel like it's more about your soul path, March. Okay. So I will apply it to, for example, love relationships if I get love, but I feel very much like it's about your soul path for March. You're really thinking about those things. I will be doing a separate love reading and a separate career reading, but this is the general. So spirit kind of bring up whatever it is they want to talk about. But there's definitely some sort of lucky event happening here. Um, I feel like it will change everything. And I feel like your destiny becomes really obvious to you, whether that puts you in the path for someone to love if you're looking for love um, or because I feel like that person's connected to your work. Um, or, but I feel more it's about you being your own boss, Pisces. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know um, about the heart of the matter? What's the heart of the matter for my beautiful Pisces in March? 
what is the most important thing right now? We got conflict and defeat. Okay. Um, we've also got, oh, wow. We got two, five. No, we got, uh, no, we got a five, a two, and a four. So we got conflict and defeat. This is the heart of the matter. So you're feeling right now that um, you have to end something because it's like, no matter how much you go in one direction, you always feel like it's not enough or you get pushed back. Okay, so it's about whatever you feel is holding you back in some way from succeeding. You're conflicted. You know that you need to let go of it, but it's difficult. Okay, um, what, what's wonderful about this picture is that, you know, everybody seems to be going the same way for this happiness. But Pisces, you've got to recognize that you're different. You're not the usual average Joe or Joina or whatever you call uh, or Josephine, whatever it is, I feel like you are different. So therefore you have a different way of doing things and a different approach is called for. You're not here to follow the crowd. Okay. You're here to recognize your uniqueness and implement that in a situation. Okay. So I feel very much like even though you're conflicted and you feel defeated, there's still a little bit of hope there. Okay. That candle is still burning for a reason and it's important. It looks more interesting if you look at, in my humble opinion it looks more interesting in terms of light than this one it's almost like this yeah this looks like a general light but here it's very focused it's very intimate so i'm not sure what that is but uh this is the heart of the matter they're giving me conflict and defeat but they're also giving me mental co mental conflict so this you know is about you having to compromise or make a decision. It's almost like you're battling with yourself here, Pisces. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I manifest something new? Should I stay where I am? Okay, so there's, it's almost like where you've been or where you are, you feel like there's no growth, okay? And deep inside you, there's a part of you right here that's saying, let's manifest something new. There'll be growth there. There'll be something more healthy for you in that situation. And you're like, I don't know, I'm not sure. You may even not even be, um, talking this over to people because they're even though this is two of swords there's an energy here of you keeping this under the surface um it's almost like you're manifesting something new but maybe you're not telling anybody about it because you don't want it to go wrong it's almost like you don't want to jinx it that's the energy that i'm getting okay but it's time to make a decision on something and um when we got the four uh the four there the firm foundation so they're really indicating that someone's got a tickly nose it's not my nose, but they're indicating uh, there's a tickly nose here. I don't know what that is. Uh, my nose is not tickly. I know when the energy is not mine and when it is. Um, so if you've got a tickly nose, it seems, I do beg your pardon, but it, it seems to be the left nostril, okay? <laughs> the, le the left nostril is very, very tickly for some reason. Um, I don't feel it needs to be blown, but needs to be itched. Anyway, uh, I'm going to just drop that card for a moment to get rid of that energy. If that was you, there's something in this message for you. If it's not you, doesn't mean it's not your reading. Um, I mean, this has come up before. Uh, so, um, you know, my traditional family, uh, some of the sayings are when your nose itches, uh, there's going to be a fight. Okay. So it's almost like, you know, um, you know, like the old boxers and things like that. They used to like, uh, sort of, before they fight, they sort of rub their nose. So there's an indication there like about, I don't know why they give me boxing. Maybe it's this person, um, his body looks incredible. Uh, so maybe it's that, but um, I'm just getting this energy of, um, maybe you feel like you've got a bit of a fight on your hands, Pisces, and you're a pacifist. You don't like to have those sort of things. You, you're quite nurturing, healing, supportive person. There's a lot of love and you're very sensitive. So you don't, you know, you don't really want to um, have a fight on your hands, but I feel very much like if you have to, because we got the justice card. If there is something that you're having to rise and there is a challenge here, I mean, you can overcome anything. You've got a strong foundation and you know, you may feel like there's a bit of a mountain ahead of you, okay? Uh, but you do have a firm foundation. You can do this, okay? Um, yeah, it feels very gladiatorial. It's almost like you're prepared to go into something, but it's so interesting. Now they're really showing me, and maybe it's, they're really showing me this, uh, it's like I'm there, wow. Okay, I just need to take a moment to take that in. It's like I can hear all these people shouting, screaming, but cheering as well. And it's like uh, this person going up the steps towards something, towards greatness, towards, but there is a battle here. So either you're in competition with somebody for something, or, um, and you feel like, uh, yeah, I can do this, I can do this. And when you're just on the precipice of it, you're like, I don't think I can do this.
but I feel like you can, you definitely can do this. You have a firm foundation, you're strong, okay? Yes, whatever it is may seem big that's in front of you, but actually you can overcome this. They're indicating that you will conquer this. They're giving me the word conquer, okay? Um, now I'm just going to go and see um, what is the challenge here. Although that seems to be a challenge pretty much in itself. What's the challenge in this situation? Okay. Okay. Thanks so much. Uh, so the challenge in this situation is the Six of Pentacles. Okay. There's an energy here of um, you're doing a lot with a little reward, okay? I feel like um, there is one-sidedness is happening here. It's it's almost like you're trying to find a balance, Pisces, because someone has either been selfish towards you or there is a selfish energy around you. I feel like you're investing a lot into a situation and there's no return here. But it's almost like you're waiting for results. You're hoping that this person or this situation, this job, or I feel like you're hoping it balances itself out. Um, but there's this energy that, you know, you're struggling because it never comes. It's almost like you're dealing with energy vampires or you're always in deficit. You're always, if you're working in a job, for example, and you know your worth, you know you're better than that. For example, if you're getting paid a, a little bit of money, I mean, a little bit of money is better than no money. I absolutely understand. But uh, you may be looking for something different that pays a little bit more because you're feeling like, um, you know, the money's going out the window as soon as it goes in the bank, that sort of energy that I'm getting. There's, there's conflict here. It's almost like you don't know whether you should stay or go. You don't know whether you want to. But there's this energy here of also hoping that fate intervenes because when you get a six of earth, that's an unexpected resource from the universe, okay? It's almost like uh, you're hoping for the universe to step in and surprise, surprise, in March, it, there is good karma coming towards you and there is a, a change in this events here. Um, but it feels like the challenge here is remaining balanced. Giving to a situation that is not giving to you is pretty hard, Pisces. So I feel like you've got that inner balance, uh, inner battle. It's almost like you don't w want to withdraw fully from this situation. You still want to give to it, but you recognize you're not getting anything. So it is a bit of a challenge, okay? Now, the underlying feelings here is the Ace of Cups. Okay, they're indicating here the Ace of Cups is an energy of, um, you know, a new relationship or love. It says love begins, okay? So new love. So maybe it is that you're, you're ending a cycle here of, with someone who is very selfish and you feel like no matter how much you've tried to make this relationship work, it just doesn't work. And you're like, I can't do no more with this. I've come as far as I can. You've been the bigger person. You've been the better person. You've been the nurturing person. You've been the supportive person. There's nothing left to give. And you can't make a person step up and change their ways. So I feel like you you may be having to manifest a new beginning. And deep down, we've got this underlying feeling. This is what's carrying you through. There's love elsewhere, okay? Or you're calling in new love. This is a new relationship energy. Um, also, there's... It's almost like deep down, this is what you want, okay? But also deep down, what I feel like is what you want, if this is a work situation, for example, what you want is an opportunity to do something that you love. Emotionally fulfilling, but also financially so as well, okay? So I feel like deep down, you want to honor your heart and manifest something new here. Something that is for the long term, something that um, you know respects you and is balanced, harmonious, and actually goes somewhere. You know, it's almost like, look, pouring all that love and energy right on in there and it being in a pool that actually goes somewhere, that do something, okay? That does something rather, not do something. Um, and there's an energy here of you meeting the right people or the mi right minds, okay? So you may feel like you've been a bit conflicted about things, stuck in a rut, but I feel like you're not putting up with it anymore. The final countdown, maybe you're about to walk away from a, a place where you feel like doesn't love you or abandon you in a situation um, or sabotaged because the five of swords is a sabotage energy it's a conflicted kind of uh you know maybe even unkind energy so it feels like no matter how much you invest in this situation it's never good enough that's the energy that i'm getting and you know that elsewhere there's some someone or some place that appreciates you more that there's more love to be got out of life elsewhere that's the energy that i'm getting I'm just going to let that siren go past. Okay. Now, what is behind you? Fertility. Okay. This is the Empress card. So, a lot of abundance, luxury. I feel very much like um, in the recent past, you know, you may have been thinking about the good old days. Time when there was a lot 
of abundance and you know um, when you are doing a lot of manifestation so you may have already planted the seeds of what it is that you want Pisces and been manifesting it towards you but now you're in the waiting game you're waiting and waiting for it to manifest the seeds have been sown um, when you get the Empress card there's a new version of yourself it's nourishing I feel like you may have been you're, you're bringing with potential in sorry I'm just gonna I've been having sweats recently, so in and out. Uh, I've just been a little bit unwell. That's why your reading took so long this week. I do apologize. I took some time out to just rest. Um, but uh, I'm just getting over it now. Nothing serious, just a little bit of a cold or something. Um, so anyway, we got the, the fertility card, which indicates, you know, um, you feel like you have a lot more potential than what is being realized within the situation. And also it is fertility. So it feels like you want to, you've want you made a decision to create something new. Or you feel like, you know, um, you don't want to wait anymore because perhaps if you're waiting for somebody in a relationship that um, it's time to move forward because time is ticking. And if you want to have a, ch a child or something like that, you may feel like you, you cannot wait anymore for someone to step up to the plate and meet you there because it's just not happening. So I feel like you you may be manifesting a new uh, love in coming on in there. Thank you so much, spirit guys, great angels. Uh, but there is love coming. You're manifesting it. The deep the deep um, energy that I've got is there is a, a passionate new beginning. Whether that is in terms of your workspace or your relationships, it's coming and it's going to be very uh, auspicious. Stand your ground, okay? Now when you get a seven of wands, this is about you being your personal best. Pisces, you're above the competition, but also you know that you deserve better. So standing your ground is owning it, saying, you know, you are a new version of yourself. You're setting healthy boundaries, you know, uh, you have strong self-esteem, you're, you're finding your confidence. You know, you just re it feels like you're coming into a more confident phase of your life. And I feel like um, you're, you're standing your ground to get your happiness. Whatever has been eclipsing that happiness, that sun there, that indicates, uh, you know, it's starting to shift. Can you see? It's starting to move out of your shine. No one should dull your shine, Pisces. And I feel like you're starting to own that you are very unique and you don't need to change, okay, anything really about yourself. Um, just maybe the circumstances that are around the situation. Thank you so much, guys, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Okay, so what is coming in your near future? We got the Sun card. A lot of happiness, a lot of abundance. So March is a very auspicious time for you. I feel like they're giving me the third week of March. Third week of March. I'm going to pull a quick card on that because they're giving me the third week of March. And uh, they're not really telling me what that's about. Can you please guide me? What is the third week of March about for my beautiful Pisces? Oof. Uh, we got a return to, um, well, someone from your past. Okay. Okay. I understand. So. Um, now. We all have free will, Pisces, so you know, use your intuition on this. But what we have here is a Six of Cups in the reverse, indicating someone from your past. It could be a friend. It could be someone that you lost touch with over time. It doesn't have to be an ex-lover, but it can also be an ex-lover there. Uh, someone wants to reconnect with you, okay? So uh, third week of March, obviously someone is coming back to reconnect with you there. And there's an indication here um, that... Um, you're conflicted whether you should close this down or not, or you should, you know, even entertain this person uh, because they may have unrealistic expectations within the situation. I mean, we got a two of pentacles. It's almost like you've made a decision on it, but uh, we got the five of wands next to it. So it's conflicted. Okay. So they're indicating there that uh, this person or this situation presents a challenge or an obstacle. This may even be like an old, old rivalry. You know, for example, if you go for a I just heard a little hiss there. I don't know if you caught it on the camera. Maybe not. So I'm just looking at the camera there, making sure the ca sorry the the light there to make sure that the the light hasn't gone out. It hasn't. But I heard a little hiss there. So perhaps this is someone that you consider a rival, okay? Who's coming back into your vicinity? Someone who you know, if you're going for a job, um, they like to try and sort of put a spoke in the wheel or. Um, I feel like this person always makes you feel like you have to compete, okay? And because we got we had that final countdown energy and that gladiatorial energy coming through as well, I feel like um, you are above the competition. Whatever this is, Pisces, that this person makes you feel like you have to um, 
compete for their attention or compete against them for something, um, you're above this. Okay, I feel like you're definitely closing this down. So we have the world card there and the full card. So they're indicating here that you've come full circle in this. Okay, it feels like it's an ending. You know, you're cutting them out. Um, the world indicates, you know, completion, satisfaction, fulfillment. You've had your head, you've hurt. I'll start again. You've held your head very high. And I feel like your efforts have completely uh, come full circle. You're ending this. And I feel like there's a lot of victory in that for you, okay? I feel like you're making a very balanced decision here. But we got the full card as well, so it requires a new beginning. It requires a leap of faith. So you may be uh, a little bit nervous about shutting it down, whatever this is. But I feel like um, it's almost like maybe it's the final countdown, like an ultimatum. Either this person steps into more healthy energy, like the you know you both learn the lesson, and then you have a new beginning together with a new start. And take that leap of faith and be like, you know what? We need to be all in on this. I feel like there's definitely a fresh hope for a new avenue of adventure for you. Uh, whether you're going solo or whether you're going um, with this person it is totally up to you here. But I feel like you're shutting down unhealthy behavior. Okay. Now, for example, if this is to do with a job, I feel like there's a person from your past who will come on in and perhaps offer you something. I feel like there's, this is the opportunity that's broke that needs fixing. I'm not sure what that means, but I feel like this person may be giving you an opportunity that I hate to say this because I, I'm not sure what that energy is. I'm going to pull another card on it, but it's almost like an opportunity that sets you up to fail. That doesn't, that's not very nice energy. So I don't like to really say stuff like that unless I'm, can you please clarify the energy that I'm getting from my beautiful Pisces? Thank you so much. Yeah, it's like. There's no money in it or, and we got the page of wands indicating, you know, um, this is not an opportunity that you should be taking. The, 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 the page of wands in the upright indicates a new project coming in or a passion or a new job that you're really passionate about. Okay. And, uh, in the reverse it indicates, you know, you'd be a bit stuck with this one. You, you'd struggle with this one. Okay. Even if you look up the meaning of the word, uh, the, these cards in reverse, uh, this card is a struggle card. Okay. And the Nine of Pentacles indicates that there will be you will not be self-sufficient financially in this role. Okay, in in fact, you may even be uh, you may may have to work double time on this, and have some sort of financial setbacks. This person is envious of you, so be careful of. Um, Just look into it further. Okay, be careful of the person. It's almost like the person bearing gifts. Someone who may have been a bit of a rival for you in the past. And it may seem like they're reaching out with a wonderful opportunity. Look into it before you leap into it, right? Because they're in, they're just indicating that this is not something, that there is something better coming for you. This is the real, this is the uh, opportunity that's broken, needs fixing, whatever that it means. I'm just going to pull one more before I move on with that Celtic cross. Um, if the other, there's a new opportunity coming on in that should be taken. Can you please give energy on the new opportunity and not the one that needs fixing? Can you please give me that energy? Thank you so much. Okay, so we got a Queen of Swords in the reverse, which indicates, you know, ignore, you know, ignore that opportunity. Uh, you know, you, you've got strong, healthy boundaries and strong self-esteem. Um, it's almost like you don't need to say anything to this person. Just, you know, this is someone I feel like you were not talking to for a while. And this person, I mean, this person could have Libra energy, but they're sort of, they could also have um, Sagittarian energy and Earth energy there, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this person, I feel like they're acting in low vibe. And I feel like this person uh, is very, um, how can I put that, cold. Um, there's a, a dishonesty about this person, an unkindness about this person. Okay, so please be mindful of that. But the new opportunity that's coming on in brings in the 10. It brings in a lot more money and it's solid. It will set you up um, financially for the future. So I feel like, um, you know, there's two opportunities. One is... Please take it as it resonates. One's broke. I don't know what that means, but it seems like one is not a viable option. Um, the other one, the second one, if you want to buy a home, or uh, because they're showing me a home right now, uh, it will lead to a lot of long-term security and uh, financial sort of um, prosperity for you. That's the second option. It's bigger than the first, as I said there. Okay, uh, now let's move on. Um, I just want to clarify this as well. So in your near future, there is a lot of positivity, okay, a lot of auspicious energy. There's an awakening here as well. You're going to be enjoying life to the full. And I feel like um, any confusion, uh, 
anybody who's been selfish, I feel like that's all fading away. I feel like um, you may be a bit sad that you had to walk away from this, but you've seen the light there. The light illuminates the way towards your happiness, the sun card. Uh, relationships will bloom. I feel like it's a really uh, abundant time for you. Okay, now what advice would you give to yourself in this situation? How are you feeling? Hmm. You're manifesting something new. Look at that. Triumphant success. There was a breakthrough. Okay, so basically uh, how you feel about the situation, the advice you give to yourself is, you know, whatever new ideas you have, because this is an ace of swords, whatever new ideas that you have, it leads to clarity. There's no conflict here. Okay, you're seeing the truth and your new ideas are very original, Pisces. So there is a breakthrough with that. Um, if you honor yourself and your ideas, you will have triumphant success and you know that, okay? Also, there's a conversation that needs to be had in this situation, either with the person from the past who's offering you something that may not turn out very well, let's put it that way, or, um, okay, they're just saying a word, Nantucket place. It's a place, Nantucket. So, um, I mean, that may have a special, special resonance for you, Nantucket. Um, I'm not sure what it means other than a place, but it may be a name of somebody. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to be for everyone. Um, if it does, if it's not resonating for you, please don't try to make it fit. It just means whoever is listening needs to hear that word to make them sort of all of a sudden listen up and go, Oh, my name's Nantucket or I come from Nantucket, whatever. Um, but anyway, there's a breakthrough here. Okay. You may be waiting for news and this is the news card. Okay. So you're like, I'm just waiting for the news. Um, and when that comes on in, I'll see everything clearly and I'll be able to proceed from there. Okay. Ace of air or, well, this is a, you know, this is an ace of swords there is about destiny and fate the law of karma intervening in order to bring you something really exciting. Things were gonna, things are gonna happen quite quickly when you get this news. So there's definitely some sort of news coming on in, okay? Because I feel like the third week of March is important. The third week of March is when the news comes on in, also from the person in the past, or it could be someone that, you know, that you already work with that you haven't seen for a little bit, okay? and. There's always been a bit of rivalry there, okay? That, it seems like that event happens first and then the bigger opportunity comes towards you. Now, external circumstances, harmony, okay? So this is the soulmate energy. This is the lover's card, okay? So for example, um, the energy is right for you to find new love if you're looking for new love. There's definitely um, an indication that you will uh, find it wherever you financially have a solid foundation, wherever you invest your time and your passion to um, either create a new business or um, wherever you work or have you know, a hobby that you're passionate about. I feel that's where you meet this new person if you're trying to call in someone new. But I feel like you're closing something down first, okay? So um, there may be an energy here that, uh, for example, you're leaving someone else behind who's kind of in and out of your life, someone who's transient, you know, always comes on in saying they miss you, they love you, they want to be with you. And they may have done that for a long time and you may feel like they've wasted your time. So you're shutting down that energy in order to manifest something new. And then we have the, the new coming on in. So um, third week of March as well, we'll put you into, a, I feel like you start talking to somebody. It's like, you yeah, you start talking to someone in that week and it leads to a soulmate. I feel like it leads to a soulmate or it leads to the right person that brings you to the right partnership for for business because you know the lovers card can be about uh, partnerships and business as well but i feel like there's a conversation that comes in in march third march sorry third week of march that actually puts you in line with meeting um someone very exciting for your future whether that's in business or love i feel like this person is integral to your future okay third week of march thank you so much spirit guys great angels they're also giving me number 18 now, number 18 may be the 18th of March, or it may be uh, the moon card, something that is a surprise that comes to the surface where you have to make some voluntary changes. So, you know, uh, there may be an opportunity coming towards you and you get communication about that and it allows you to be able to move forward towards your dreams or whatever it is you've been trying to manifest that's new. Okay, uh, this is your hopes and fears. 
sacrifice. Okay, this is a hangman. Another faded energy. You have a lot of major arcanas in your um, March chart. Uh, this is an energy of, you know, you sacrifice a lot where you are, Pisces. You felt like you were the victim in the situation, victim of someone being very selfish. Okay, whether that's a person or a job. For example, in the job, they may have taken you for granted, given you more work, less money. Um, you know, with a lot of redundancies going on in the world at the moment, you know, you may f have found that you're taking on a lot more responsibility for little pay, or I feel like uh, even less pay, because I feel like a lot of companies are downsizing their pay as well, because in order to survive, I mean, it's a big old mess, but uh, there's an energy here of sacrifice. Now within that, within the positive is you learn a lesson. Pisces. Everything that happens to us happens for a reason. And with the hangman energy, um, it feels very much like um, your wisdom is giving you a different perspective. You're seeing things really clearly. And during a time where you felt there was inaction, you've actually been manifesting something new. You're surrendering it to, you're surrendering to the universe and that actually allowed new opportunities to manifest. So I feel like um, you're going to be very successful because you got that six of wands there. you got entrepreneurial energy. So Perhaps if you're setting up your own business, um, there is an energy of, yeah, you have to sacrifice a bit of extra time, but it's something that you love doing. So I feel like you're, the gain will be greater than the sacrifice. Uh, but I feel also um, that if you are moving out of space away from people who have been selfish towards you and have taken a lot of your energy and time with little reward, Pisces, I feel like you're stepping away from that in order to create a, a brighter future for yourself, a more happy one. And the solution is new beginnings, okay? The full card, taking a leap of faith. So again, there's this energy. You know what needs to be done. You know that there needs to be a new start in this area, whether it's a new job or a new person in your life uh, in terms of love, or it could be, you know, um, you want to go on a new adventure. Um, I'm going to pull some cards to clarify this energy, but there's definitely a new start here for you. This is the solution, you know, what the, the outcome uh, space. So that indicates there is... Um, have faith, anything is kind of possible kind of energy because the full card, there's no attachments to the future or the destination. There's just taking the leap of faith and knowing that it will work out, okay? Stand your ground. You know that you're above the competition. You know your worth and that you're claiming that power, okay, for a brighter day. You're in search of your happiness. Look, that person is like making a huge statement in front of the sun. I want happiness. I deserve happiness. And because you're standing your ground and saying to the universe, you know, I'm not going to put up with anybody who um, gives me less than I deserve. The universe says, and so it shall be. And it sends the sun towards you and it gives you a new beginning. Okay. So there's a wonderful opportunity to take that leap of faith. Just, uh, it, it is, it does require faith though. And, um, sort of, um, believing that there is change afoot here because what we think about we bring about now let me just clarify some of that energy can you please clarify this ace of uh, cups for my beautiful pisces ace of cups oh beautiful beautiful energy okay oh, they said i'm not done so we have the four pentacles indicating this is for the long haul okay long-term security um, and we have a king of uh, cups there so this is an energy of you know scorpionic energy but also some earth energy there um taurus virgo capricorn there's an energy here of someone who just gets you someone who's supportive empathy uh someone who uh owns their emotions and is not afraid to live in those emotions. Someone who's very loving, someone who's very peaceful, caring, diplomatic, kind, generous. Um, someone who actually, you know, wants to take the time to get to know you and live in harmony with you. So if you're calling in new love, then um, this is the sort of person who's manifesting towards you for the long haul. If you're manifesting a new position to do what you love, then the king is an entrepreneurial energy. So, you know, again, being a balanced, supportive leader, someone who leads with tolerance, someone who is not judgmental, someone who is a peacekeeper. People look towards you to be a, a wonderful um, guiding force within a work task, okay? So um, I feel very much like your ships are coming in and I feel like you're being given an opportunity to do what you love and be with who you love, okay? The tide is changing. That's why we got that um, that Wheel of Fortune right there. As you can see, you got an Ace of Pentacles, right? sorry, the Ace of Cups right up to the King of Cups. There's a lot of love in between, okay? So the journey indicates that you're getting the best of the best. You're starting with good intentions. That's what you're manifesting, something new. 
and healthy and loving that will lead for the long-term security and that's exactly what these two cards mean combined okay so uh, they're given the same energy there let us clarify this um, triumphant success Woo! there's a lot of um, sort of passionate energy in your reading which is really wonderful okay okay sorry they're just giving me a very precise image here and this is not going to be for everybody, but they've given me, and I, it makes me quite nervous to even say it, uh, they, they give me a crown of thorns. They've given me a crown of thorns. So either it's this person that gave you like an opportunity for, it's almost like, it's not a... I just want to get this right because this is very obviously there's a biblical reference to this crown of thorns um but i am not dwelling within the religion of it i'm more dwelling within the energy of it it's almost like someone giving you a position or crowning you with something that you think oh yes yeah, it's, it's a successful energy but actually it hurts you know it's a crown of thorns it's there to cause you pain so whether that's that person again that i feel is in some way that's a horrible image for them to to be showing me but they're indicating Either there's an opportunity come come in here is coming in here that is it feels like it's an opportunity but actually it leads to pain and suffering, okay? Um, because it's a crown, right? So when you're given a crown or something, it suggests you're being bestowed a high gift, but actually the crown of thorns it causes pain, suffering, wounding. Okay, so please take that as it resonates. I mean that may be even a person. You may have made someone your king or queen. You may have trusted this person with your heart and they actually crowned you with some thorns and, and gave you pain and suffering and blocked your crown chakra. Um, uh, please take it as it resonates. I'm not sure what they're um, Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, I'm loving this energy that's coming from these cards. The hangman energy, you know, um, it's almost like they separated themselves on either side as well. The hangman energy in the reverse, selfish energy, okay? Kept you stuck, kept you waiting. Okay, gave you a lot of anxiety, gave you a lot of pain, gave you a lot of um, sort of um, restlessness there, um, maybe even depression. But we got the two of swords, which indicates, you know, you, you see things clearly now. There is an epiphany moment. You're, you are standing your ground. And as a result, there's either a new opportunity that's coming on in that really speaks to your highest self, something you've wanted to do, that you've longed to do for a long time, you're following your heart, or there's a new relationship coming on in here where you're speaking to somebody new. Um, because the, the news, I was clarifying that Ace of Swords, the news, what is the news? And it's like, even though you felt like suspended and it was an anxious time while you're waiting, you're about to get, you're about to see things clearly that there's a new offer coming on in for you. Something that is divinely guided leads to a lot of love, okay? A lot of respect, a lot of deep emotions and gives some sort of um, indication that it will be for the long haul, okay? So again, the aces bring news and they bring new, okay? So there's definitely uh, something wonderful coming your way that leads to a lot of prosperity, a lot of happiness and uh, big changes, but it starts with you sort of saying no to something else. It starts with you ending something in order to manifest this new beginning because you deserve better. Okay, my beautiful Pisces, I will leave that there. Um, I'm just gonna go to the... Um... Okay, so they're giving me... Okay, they're... I don't know how to put that. La Croix? La Croix? I don't know what that is. La Croix. Um, La Croix. I mean, it may be a name, it may be a place. Please take it as it resonates. They're just saying it, they're not spelling it. So I'm not sure what that means, La Croix, okay? And um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Uh, I'm using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle because these are just really beautiful. What do my beautiful Pisces need to be mindful of or focus on for March? What do they need to be aware of for their March? Can you please guide them? Thank you so much. Oh no, they said one more. Thank you so much, great guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? There we go. You want those. Um, they're also saying Christian. Christian. Wow. I mean, it could be Christian the name, or it could be Christian as in, I mean, we already did get a Bible reference, right? Uh, um, I, as I said, I don't dwell in the religion of things because I embrace everybody, um, but I, I feel very much like it could be. Please take it as it resonates. Um, but we've got innocence here. Okay, it looks like innocence, a beautiful love. There's two swallows there as well, okay? 
um, partnering up there. There's a home in the background, a beautiful love, a meeting of people. As I said, you could be buying a new home, uh, but there's an energy here of innocence. We got love. So you're manifesting love for sure. Um, it's almost like a call to the good old days, you know, an energy of bringing back, injecting love into your life, balance into your life, harmony. And uh, we've also got divine timing. So it looks like um, March, there is something coming on in that is really um, about following your heart, doing something that you love. And um, I feel like you meet somebody there. That's what I'm getting, Pisces. I just get this energy that you're calling in. It's almost like you want peace. Can you see that dove there? Got a little olive branch. You want your emotions to be calm. You just want to see the light of the situation. You just want to do what you do with love. Yeah, you want to pay the bills, but still you just want to do whatever it is that you want in peace and with love. And I feel like if you're looking for love, someone to love you, I feel like that is also figuring in whatever move that you make or whatever a new beginning you're manifesting. There is, a, you know, a beautiful love, someone who's kind, someone who's just as emotionally um, deep as you are, who's sensitive, who understands you, okay? I feel like it will lead to long-term security and it feels like everything kind of starts to fall into place. But I feel like March is a catalyst, okay? I feel like the news comes on in and that's the thing that just sets all the balls in motion for this, divine timing. Uh, they're also giving me, it is written, it is written, okay? Um, I feel like they've given me this this word before, Mactub, Mactub. And, oh, yes, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Um, uh, there's a writer. Ugh, I'm probably going to say this wrong. Coelho. Coelho. I, I, feel like I, um, I feel like I have heard this before, but Spirit's just giving it to me to remind you. So um, it is written. It's almost like you're thinking about the bigger questions like where will you be happy? Where should you go to find your true path, okay? Um, and on that true path, you find a lot of love and actual partnership, okay? But you may have had to wait for it for a while. There's divine order. They're also giving me live in the moment. They just said live in the moment, live in the moment, okay? Don't be living in the past because that energy is spent, it's gone. We can never change the past. Don't be living in the future because actually uh, when we live in the future, we rob ourselves of the present. So there's an energy of live in the moment, live in the present. You can manifest, of course, but you can manifest from the present and dream of that future. But come back to the present. Remember to live in it. Enjoy the moment. Okay. So um, before we go, I'm just going to give a wisdom of the Oracle card to close. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? We have Thinker and it is in reverse. It's number 44. Okay. I'm just going to show you in the upright. It's number 44. When you reduce it, four plus four is eight. That's the number of the self. Okay. And so we got Thinker here. Um, now, there's an energy here. It's in the reverse. So perhaps um, you've been over. So sorry. My, my voice just quivered there. You've been overthinking something and you've been trying to make a decision on something, but it's been very difficult. So you've been very conflicted, but now's the time. Um, you actually have stronger foundation than you realize, Pisces. I just want you to realize that you've built quite a strong foundation to lead from. Sorry, um, so interesting. It's almost like something's catching my breath and they're just saying salami. Salami. So, um, I mean, maybe you've had some sort of salami that catches your breath. I don't know. Uh, please take it as it's almost like it's peppery. Perhaps it's peppery. And it's made you kind of go, I don't know. That's not going to be for everybody, but there's something here that's like catching your breath in this moment that's a bit spicy. Okay, maybe, and maybe some. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to read from the book. I don't know what um, they're trying to give me there. Uh, it is number 44. 44, let's see. Okay, they just said the name Patrick. Okay, so Patrick. If your name is Patrick, or perhaps you're coming into being with someone called Patrick, maybe you're standing up to somebody called Patrick. Maybe that's a boss type energy. Um, please take it as it resonates. Uh, it's not going to be for everybody, but uh, they're just giving the name Patrick. Okay, so uh, number 44. You get the relationship message and it says you might be suffering from analysis paralysis thinking has its place but trying to figure out everything logically is not going to work right now your conclusions will likely be faulty and you may act upon false assumptions that will get you in a jam give your mind a rest 
do something creative, exercise or meditate. Soon you'll come to your senses and an aha moment will bring new clarity. Okay, so there's definitely some sort of awakening happening in March for you that allows you to move forward and do something that you've always loved doing, but also being, a, you know, in a higher position. And I feel also it puts you in the path of meeting new love if you're looking for new love as well, okay? Or at least partnering up with the right people who uh, help you rise in terms of your career or whatever it is that you do, okay? I'm just going to get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Light Angel. Can you please clarify? Okay, uh, before I look at this, um, they were saying fine and dandy. Fine and, fine and dandy. Fine and dandy, okay? I mean, I think that's pretty self-explanatory but I don't really know what else to say with that maybe it's a sentence that you say a lot because it's not something I say fine and dandy um, or maybe it's something you said recently and are marveling at the words fine and dandy fine and dandy okay uh, they're just showing me something as well they're showing me a leather it's almost like is it it's it's something I'm not sure what it is whether it's a gift or something it's leather I'm just gonna pop this here for a moment it's leather and it's got a name embossed on it. Leather gift or maybe a leather, it could be a leather like tag for a bag. It's got a name embossed on it. I feel like it's personalized. Something leather that's... Now when I think about it, uh, I mean if that's you then there's something in this message for you. Um, it feels like something is embossed with your name. I mean it could be a company name that's embossed there and it's um, you're getting items to do with your business up and running and you're embossing your name on the items uh, but I feel like the leather indicates something that's sturdy something that's strong it's almost like a hallmark okay or something that's branded so um, uh, please take it as it resonates I'm not sure what else I can do with that one uh, but we got a, a flower Beautiful. I haven't had one of those in a while. Uh, that indicates new beginnings, okay? The springtime, so March into April, um, you know, uh, there's an energy of sort of rebirth, renewal, because um, they, they want it on the full card, okay? There's a leap of re uh, faith required. There is um, a wonderful lucky event opportunity that's coming your way that changes everything. Good fortune. So it feels like there's a lot of very positive uh, energy around relationships are going to be blossoming um your work is going to be blossoming it feels like everything's going to come full circle and it requires that leap of faith that all will be okay all will be well okay be mindful of the person from the past returning uh, i mean this person may be a wonderful person okay they may not even know that the opportunity that they offer you is possibly a dud i'm not sure but look into it yourself because you know you know your situation you know what you're dealing with okay um use your intuition on it because um, i'm just reading the energy that i get from the cards thank you so much my beautiful pisces i hope something resonated in this reading for you if it does please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press a little bell apparently that's important it lets you know when i update my next message lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is very very important for me okay as i was saying that they just keep showing me the queen of swords in the reverse the queen of swords in reverse so they're indicating someone who's quite cold someone who's very logic uh, so, so, so rigid in their logic someone who's unkind perhaps dishonest I feel like you may be coming into being or dealing with someone like that so be mindful I mean with that justice card you're going to get justice for your situation stand your ground but I feel like you're dealing with someone who's a little bit underhanded so just be mindful okay I will just leave that there thank you so much my beautiful Pisces love and light